Well, hello there. Today we're going to watch a classic TV series called Cagney and Lacey, a show that I'm sure most of our listeners are familiar with. Cagney and Lacey is known far and wide as one of the best TV series to ever hit the air. So today, we're going to reminisce and watch the series again with the entire cast of Then and Now. We will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors from the show, and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's check it out together. Tyne Daly was born on February 21, 1946, in Madison, Wisconsin. She played the character Mary Beth Lacey in the series when she was 35 years old in 1981. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 77. Rest, all right? Rest and get strong. And I'll come by soon in the morning. I'm going to get that bastard for you. So what was I, was, I was pretty much knew I wanted to do it when I was eight years old. What happened when you were eight? Nothing. There was an accumulative effect of, of seeing my parents uh, uh, on the stage. Loretta Swit was born on November 4, 1937 in Passaic, New Jersey. She played the character detective Christy Cagney in the series when she was 44 years old in 1981. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 85. What's the uh, tariff? What do you want? What do I want? Yeah, what do you want? In detail. In fact, out of the country when they were doing the major casting. So I came in at the tail end and I didn't know they had seen three or four hundred women. Meg Foster was born on May 14, 1948 in Reading, Pennsylvania. She played the character detective Chris Cagney in the series when she was 34 years old in 1982. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 75. Let's check out that guy we busted. You know, Vinnie Manconi. Maybe he knows something, you know. Maybe if we play him right, he can lead us right to the top. There was a bouquet of flowers, and there was a note, and this says a lot about Mr. Carpenter. Al Waxman was born on March 2nd, 1935 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He played the character Lieutenant Bert Samuels in the series when he was 46 years old in 1981. Sadly, on January 18, 2001, Waxman died during heart surgery in Toronto, Ontario, in Canada at the age of 65. When I'm through! Hey, hey, hey. Congratulations. Emma, I'm Thank you. I, you know, I don't know. Nice. It is springtime! Oh, hey, this one I'm free with. It's on a wall. I hope to have you over sometime. I'd love you to look at it. It's a seven cent check, and I think I must have screwed up their whole accounting process because it's up. John Carlin was born on May 28, 1933, in Brooklyn, New York City. He played the character Harvey Lacey in the series when he was 49 years old in 1982. Sadly, on January 22, 2020, Carlin died from heart failure in Burbank, California, at the age of 86. This old woman. And I'm crazy about you, Harvey. I don't know why you're standing out in the hallway. That I know nothing about him. I never saw him. I didn't know a thing about him. I was pretty close to. This is the same. Carl Lumbly was born on August 14, 1951, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He played the character Mark Petrie in the series when he was 30 years old in 1981. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 71. Got the manager here. Uh, he got to the room about the same time I did. And as soon as forensic shows up, um, take him out, try and come up with something. Okay. time I was living in San Francisco, I guess I had moved to San Francisco in 77, so it was just after that event had occurred. But... Sharon Gless was born on May 31st, 1943 in Los Angeles, California. She played the character Christine Cagney in the series when she was 39 years old in 1982. Currently, she's living happily at the age of 80. I nailed him. I think Mary Beth in the lake. He looks so familiar. Will Smith, Barney's assistant and our dear friend, is driving by and she sees the guy give me a ticket. And she goes, uh-uh. <laughs> and I said, he doesn't care. Martin Cove was born on March 6, 1946 in Brooklyn, New York City, New York. He played the character Victor Isbecki in the series when he was 36 years old in 1982. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 77. Look, my mother is it. It's just her and me. She's all I've got. This cancer is killing us. You know, we had, I think it was dinner here at Antana's. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, I was interested in doing it, but I did not want to do it in the one-dimensional frame. Robert Hegyes was born on May 7, 1951, in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. He played the character Manny Esposito in the series when he was 35 years old in 1986. Sadly, on January 26, 2012, Hegyes died from an apparent heart attack at John F. Kennedy Medical Center in Edison, New Jersey, at the age of 60. Night that the show was going to premiere, so we were like four or five episodes ahead of ourselves, and we aren't thinking much about it because our Harvey Atkin was born on December 18, 1942, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He played the character Sergeant Ronald Coldman in the series when he was 39 years old in 1981. Sadly, on July 18, 2017, Atkin died of a brain tumor in Toronto, Ontario, at the age of 74. This was touted as being um, a pilot for a series. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. So they didn't just do the job. So he, you know, he did the thing, and then we got a call about six months later from, the, from Hollywood, and the guy said... Tony LaTorre was born on July 15, 1969, in Glendale, California. He played the character Harvey Lacey Jr. in the series when he was 13 years old in 1982. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 53. I think I should go either. For what? Troy W. Slayton was born on February 21st, 1975, in Los Angeles, California. He played the character Michael Lacey in the series when he was seven years old in 1982. Currently, he's living happily at the age of 48. Illegal in the state of Massachusetts, but this wasn't a state case. This was a federal case where federal law applies, and all of the jurors were... Before we wrap up this journey through the world of the Cagney and Lacey TV series, I want to hear from you. Who is your favorite character from the series? What's this thing that they have that it's so appealing to you? Share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you're always the first to know when new content is released. Your support and engagement mean the world to me. Thank you for joining me on this journey down memory lane.